Hey, it's Becca here with Nick, and we are joined by a legend, a music icon, Big Boy. Thank you so much for coming to see us. Thank you for having me. Welcome to New England, Rhode yes, Island. Yes, yes, for sure, man. No, I heard that there is kind of a local connection. This is like a recent development. Your son, there's a Harvard connection there. Yes, is that what yes, I'm yes. He's going to the Harvard football camp. We got a letter from Harvard. They're interested in him. He's a very smart kid. He's running back out of Georgia. Um, we got offers from USC and Columbia. So I'll be doing shows tonight and taking him to Harvard in the morning. So double duties. It's a nice Father's Day present, though, right? Yeah, yeah. I was just saying, I, I can't believe that you're doing like a little bit of both. Yeah, yeah, man. That's, I, I keep a balance. Keep a balance, man. I mean, my family is what keeps me grounded and it's motivation. So you might be spending some more time up here in the Northeast. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Which means, I don't know, maybe you'll have to get on board with our Boston sports teams like the oh. New England Patriots. Oh, I've been on board with the Patriots. Oh, okay. Oh, I've been on board. My uncle uh, um, bet on all Boston teams, Celtics, Patriots, so I've been a Patriots fan since I was like a teenager, you know? It's awesome. Um, back Drew Bledsoe days and before that. And yeah, everybody's like, how you can be a Falcons fan and a uh, Patriots fan? It's cause <laughs> Tom Brady and me get that money. Let's go. <laughs> I like it. that. I mean, you're a goat, and a goat recognizes a goat. Yeah, so there man. you go. Come on, man. So let's talk about uh, one of the main reasons he's here. You're hearing the song at Hot 106 all the time, All Night. Yeah. So talk to our listeners about the single. Yeah, the single, um, All Night, is off the Boomerverse album um, that's been out. It'll be out a week tomorrow, uh, a year, a week tomorrow. And it's just on fire. Like, the single's top 40 now. Um, so this is like another time in my life where I have a top 40 single and a hit movie coming out in the same week because I'm in the new Superfly movie as well and it's just a great time to be alive. Uh, Superfly is out in theaters now. Yes, it's out now. Y'all gotta go see it. I played the freaky corrupt mayor of Atlanta, <laughs> Mayor Atkins. We, we a wild boy in it out there. So it's. it's it's pretty wild. This is a remake, right? They, it's, they call it a reimagine. Okay. You know what I mean? Or remix, but it's it's dope. I mean, it lives up to the name, and um, it's it's a modern day version of it. I mean, it's, it's more like a New Jack City meets Scarface. It's it's good. So you're someone who has acted in a bunch of movies, but you pick what you act in pretty carefully. Why did you want to be involved in this project? Well, the director, Director X, called me, and he was like. Um, how would you like to play the mayor of Atlanta? I think it suits you, like, cause I mean, that's your town. I was like, hell yeah, I was on tour in Canada. It's like, great. It was like, when we shoot? He's like, next week. I was like, great. <laughs> so, as soon as I got home, I went, you know, got in the character and had to pull down from my deep, seedy side to pull him out. I was a real <laughs> slime ball man. Um, so you do, yeah, you play Merrick, and like you just said, would you ever maybe consider a run for office in real life? Um. If they legalize, when they legalize marijuana in Georgia, we could think, we'll start thinking about it. That could be your platform. Yeah, yeah, I mean, we, pretty much, I mean, between me and Killer Mike, the governors and the mayor, um, I'm going to see, man. But I think now, you know, with music and, and movies, like, I reach people globally. Like, so, I, I mean, I'm still doing my little political thing, you know what I mean? So, we'll see. The song All Night, it's one of those songs where you could hear it, yeah, in your car, you can hear it in the club, you can hear it at like at the gym, it's just that it's an anywhere song. It works yeah, everywhere. Yeah, yeah, man. It's, the song is like this maximum positive vibrations, man, and and the music is supposed to evoke emotion, and that's just a you know, it's a summertime feel good record. And like I said, it's been like a year, and it's top forty now, so we happy. And it always helps when you have uh, an injection into something that's pop culture related. And the song uh, got some legs from the Apple commercial, the yeah. Animoji commercial. So yeah. how did that partnership come about? Um, well, actually, that was like the third Apple commercial that I got. I had one for my song Chocolate. Um, and then I had the one for All Night Madden game, uh, Kill Jill. So the, the music is, is being saturated and the people love it, man. And, you know, those syncs come in handy. But that Animoji sync really took it through through the roof. And so it's a year tomorrow yes. since All Night came out. Yes. Uh, you're someone who's constantly making music. Mm -hmm. Is there is there more projects that we can expect now in the oh, future? Oh, absolutely. Like, um, I stay recording. I got a vault full of music. Um, I'm going on tour with Christina Aguilera at the end of July, and I'm going on the Liberation Tour with, no, no, yeah, with Christina Aguilera in the fall. So I got Lauren Hill and Christina Aguilera. I'm, I'm booked to October. So in between then, I'll do some more recording. But yeah, we got music ready. And you've been out touring. What have those uh, performances been like in back on It's been crazy, man. I've done like four tours so far. I did West Coast, I did the East Coast, I did just did Southeast. 
went to Australia, New Zealand, and it's just getting bigger and bigger. Campaigning.